panatambuliwa kama mahali patakatifu katika Ukristo na Uyahudi huku maelfu wakizuru mto Jordan kila mwaka kujionea mahali Yesu Kristo alibatizwa. Naam. Tupate taarifa hiyo na Kirwi. Hapa ndipo panapoaminika kuwa Yesu Kristo alibatizwa na Yohana Mbatizaji takriban miaka elfu mbili iliyopita. Bethany Beyond Jordan likiwa jina mahususi la eneo hili likiashiria eneo la ubatizo. Na katika nchi hii ndogo ya Kiarabu eneo la Mashariki ya Kati ndipo kunapatikana mto Yordani sehemu ya lipo makanisa ya Yohana Mbatizaji. We know depending once again on the pilgrim testimonies they match exactly with what we have discovered. We know depending on all the important sources that that happens to be the spot where Jesus Christ was baptized and Christianity started. Takriban miaka elfu mbili baadaye mtu Jordan umebadilisha mkondo wake ukitiririka mita chache kando na eneo alikobatizwa Yesu. Wakristo hufurika hapa kushiriki tambiko la ubatizo na kuondoka na maji matakatifu. A lot of Christian families from all over the world and Jordan come to be baptized right here. I would say this site is so special specifically because of the great messages. So ahlan wa sahlan whatever I say if you don't physically visit the site and enjoy everything that's been discovered to match with the important biblical events you won't feel it. Katika eneo hili takriban kilomita moja kutoka sehemu ya ubatizo ni muundo huu ambao unaaminika kuwa Yohana Mbatizaji aliishi. Hii ni sehemu moja kati ya sehemu mia moja hamsini takatifu kulingana na historia ya Biblia ni sehemu ambayo Yohana aliyembatiza Yesu Kristo aliishi. Angeteremka kwa uraisi hadi mto Yordani kutekeleza majukumu yake ya ubatizo. Kwa sasa nyumba hii ya Yohana inatumika kama ukumbi wa maombi kwa maelfu ya Wakristo wanaohudhuru hapa kila mwaka. Zaidi muujiza wa kupaa mbinguni kwa nabii Elia katika gari la moto ulifanyika hapa. According to 2 Kings chapter 2, Elijah was taken up to heaven coming and crossing over the Jordan with his servant Elisha. Second, Elisha himself received the prophecy right at that spot where Elijah was taken up to heaven. Going down there in this umbrella, uh, there's also a mosaic in the ground and to the left side here we see a well of water. It's like 8 meters high and uh, It's a holy place for either Christianity and the baptism site. Juu mlimani pindi unapopita mji wa Yeriko ni mlima wa Nebo alikopanda nabii Musa na kukabili Yeriko. Kulingana na maandiko matakatifu, Bwana alimuonyesha Musa nchi ya ahadi ya Kanan akiwa katika mlima huu. Hata hivyo Musa hakuruhusiwa kufika katika nchi ya ahadi akiishi maisha yake ya mwisho hapa. Inaaminika kuwa alikufa na kuzikwa kwenye mlima huu. Prophets, especially for Prophet Moses, nobody found his real grave. So they put the shrine, a sign which is symbol of his dying on this mountain. Nabi Yoshua ndiye aliyeongoza kondoo wa Mungu kufika katika nchi ya ahadi. Mnamo tarehe 20 mwaka wa elfu mbili, Papa Mtakatifu John Paul wa pili alizuru mlima huu wakati wa ziara yake ya mji mtakatifu. Baadaye mwaka wa elfu mbili na tisa, Papa Mtakatifu Benedicta wa kumi na sita alizuru mlima huu. Bahari ya chumvi au ukipenda Dead Sea ni eneo ambalo vile vile lina umuhimu katika historia ya Biblia. Bahari ya chumvi inapatikana katikati ya milima ya Yudea na inatajwa katika Biblia kutoka nyakati za Ibrahimu na uharibifu wa miji ya Sodoma na Gomora. Miji hiyo inaaminika kuwa chini ya bahari hii ya Dead Sea baada ya kuharibiwa na Mungu kutokana na maovu kupita kiasi. Sodoma and Amora, there were two villages here 
uh, belongs to Lut, uh, the prophet Lut, and they were punished uh, by God because they were the sinners. And uh, the long uh, for this sea is like 70 kilometers long and wide like 17 kilometers and it's located in the border between Jordan and Palestinian and Israelis territories. Licha ya kuwa hakuna uhai wa mimea wala wanyama unaopatikana katika bahari hii, bahari ya Dead Sea inafahamika kwa bidhaa za madini au matope ya bahari yanayosifika sana kwa sababu ya uwezo wa kutibu magonjwa mbali mbali. Did you feel the burn, burning sensation the everywhere? Ilikuwa ni fursa nzuri sana kwangu na wenzangu kama ilivyo desturi ya watalii wanaozuru bahari hii kuosha miili yetu angalau kujitakasa na kupata uponyaji. Yote tisa kumi ni kuwa taifa la ufalme wa Yordani linajivunia historia isiyo haba yenye umuhimu wa Biblia. Citadel Aman ikiwa eneo lenye historia ndefu ya kukaliwa na watu wengi. Yeyote anayezuru Jordan ni sharti afike katika eneo hili la kihistoria la Citadel. Tunarifiwa kwamba takriban watu elfu kumi wanafika hapa kila siku. Ben Kirui Runinga ya Citizen. Na Ben Kirui wajua kabla aende alikuwa kwa na shida ya mafua kwa kwa haya muondokei. Lakini tangia uh, pakwe matope yale na oge mm. paka sasa hivi shida ya mafua imemuondokea. Ila kusema ukweli Ben Kirui alivorudi mtazamaji alitusumbua kila mmoja anaambua shika hapa. Sikia venye ni smooth. Uh, <laughs> kwa sisi tuna tunataka uponyaji ule udumu. Eh. Uh, udumu, udumu ili endelee. Maana kumbuka uh, yeye alipata fursa kwenda kupa kwa matope ambayo anaondoa maradhi na mwenzake leto akapata mali pa kwenda kuomba kuondoa shida zote. Kwa hiyo tupo sawa. Kwa hiyo tupo sawa. <laughs>